Now, your weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, it ended up being a pretty decent day for midwinter. Again, we had our temperatures rise into the upper 50s with plenty of sunshine. It was a bright day, and would you believe it, tomorrow is going to be even nicer. Tonight's still, however, clear and cold. Look for some areas of frost as we drop into the mid 30s, but tomorrow sunny and mild with daytime highs reaching the mid to upper 60s. That's very short lived because as soon as we move back into Friday beyond a cold front, temperatures will quickly sink. We're looking at the possibility of once again seeing near freezing temperatures over the weekend. And it looks like we've got a break from the rain, maybe a shower or two on Sunday, but most of the rainfall it's actually going to hold off until one week from today. So here you go. Looking at your overnight clear and cool outside under clear skies. Temperatures dropping into the mid 30s by early morning and then temperatures quickly jump as we head into tomorrow afternoon. We'll see a nice little light breeze out of the south southwest that allow those temperatures to rise 35 this morning. Climbing to 57 getting closer to that average mark, but tomorrow we're going to quickly surpass it quickly jump into the upper 60s heading into the afternoon and once again, we'll see plenty of sunshine. Live tower cam, it's now 51 degrees outside with winds out of the south southwest at about five miles per hour. We're going to continue with clear skies overnight. As you notice, your metro temperatures out there 49 in Woodville. Gross Tate, we're coming in at 53 across the river, 53 in Plaquemine, 52 in Gonzales, right now 51 in the Denham Springs area. But here's the deal satellite and radar picture clear and quiet tonight. A little bit different than what we saw last night. As you look at your live Viper radar. It is a clean sweep. Yesterday, however, there was actually some precipitation, a few light showers out there. And for some areas, we were talking around the Greenwell Springs area. People sent us some photos of what looked like hail. No, it was actually grapple. Again, that is some winter like precipitation. So again, we got very close out there. It was very chilly for a few short hours. And again, a lot of what you saw there really never made its way to the surface. So the big picture, obviously, we are keeping an eye on that next cold front temperatures spike tomorrow and then quickly drop beyond that cold front moving into Friday. You can see that cold air rushing southbound into the Gulf. That's going to be with us over the weekend. Friday night, Saturday night, we're talking the possibility of a light freeze. Otherwise, lots of sunshine and quiet conditions. Eventually, another system moves in, but not until late on Sunday. A couple clouds, and I think that's about it. So take a look at your future track, and we're going to call for temperatures in the mid-30s to start out your day. Maybe a coastal cloud. Otherwise, we're talking mid-upper 60s throughout the afternoon. A gorgeous day all around. You see we got a couple clouds going into your Friday and overall still a very quiet picture with those cooler temperatures moving in as we step into the upcoming weekend. So again, as you take a look at your overnight, this is the story. Temperatures sink under clear skies, fall into the mid 30s as we head into those morning hours. And again, just make sure you bundle up. Make sure the kids are dressed nice and warm, but we'll be seeing plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Should be a gorgeous day by the end as we climb to about 67 degrees outside with mostly sunny skies and low humidity levels and a light breeze out of the southwest at seven miles per hour. Here's that seven day picture. We go from 36 up to 67. A quick spike because as you see here Friday, Saturday, that cold air returns Friday night. We're talking 33 down to 32 Saturday night. Bounce back to 58 going into your Sunday. Some clouds late day, some overnight showers possible. Martin Luther King Day should be nice and dry and then we'll look for a couple showers with our next decent system moving into Tuesday and Wednesday.